Welcome back, Knights of Apollo, to the final round of the finale of the Total War League Rome 2 Siege Tournament. Now, if you have not watched the first battle, it's linked down in the video description. Be sure to do that so you can get the right context of what's going on in the second battle. Also, if you want to take part in these tournaments, be sure to join the Total War League Discord, which is also linked down in the video description. In the first battle, we witnessed the guerrilla tactics achieve victory against the Rice Enjoyers, which earned them negative five points. Now, in this battle, it is winner takes all. Why is that? Well, the guerrilla tactics, if they win today, they, they, they won both rounds, so the points do not matter. Now, for the Rice Enjoyers, with their faction combination, it's a total of negative four points so if they win that means they will earn more points than the guerrilla tactics with negative four versus negative five so it is a complete winner takes all whoever wins this battle today will be crowned champion of the world so in today's matchup the rice enjoyers have mustered a mighty army they have brought the roman war machine and an unexpected ally, the Carthaginians. And then on the defense, we have the Guerrilla Tactics. They are bringing the mighty Galatians. And last, but certainly not least, we have a Greek faction of the Athenian variant. So guys, sit back, relax, get some snacks and drinks, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I do appreciate it. All right, let's get this started. Well, the tortoises have been pushed forward by the rice enjoyers. Uh, mostly the Romans are, uh, you know, advancing onto the wall. So they've got some uh, Hastati, the cheaper infantry for the Roman army, pushing forward and starting to bring down the walls. We also have more Hastati here. And the Carthaginians are joining in as well as they push forward some uh, cheap infantry. Not as cheap as the... Actually, what are these guys? Oh, uh, well, they're mercenary. I mean, they're actually pretty good infantry. So these aren't like throwaway units. But yeah, they are pushing forward and bringing down the walls. This is a similar strategy to what we saw uh, from the guerrilla tactics. We even have the same tower set up over here. If you notice, there's like these four towers. That's exactly what the guerrilla tactics did. So a very similar start. Uh, to this to this battle now over here on the defensive side we have we have uh we have discovered some units because this is the perspective of the rice enjoyers like the last battle we discovered some uh units here in the open you know out of the fog of war galatian legionaries one of the most versatile well, we're not versatile one of the most uh one of the most cost effective is what i was trying to say cost effective unit for what you get from the price it's one of the best infantry i mean it really is and then over here we got some levy freeman a good throwaway throwaway unit that has projectile capability so they potentially can get some good kills there and then we've got another galatian legionary ready to hold the fort so uh once again it looks like they're defending the same spots as the rice enjoyers so the guerrilla tactics you know they just basically reversed their strategies here um or you know reverse uno card when they switch sides they're kind of doing the same thing but here's the thing guys it you know if they do the same thing doesn't that mean that the attackers are just gonna win again because we should get the same outcome well we'll find out we'll see if these galatian uh soldiers can cut down the Hastati, the Roman infantry. Um, we'll see if they've got a little twist to their strategy. I don't know for sure, but we'll definitely find out. And yeah, all the walls have been destroyed. They're going to go ahead and abandon these towers. They've got their Cretan archers, it looks like. Oh no, Samnite warriors. For a second, they look like Cretan archers. But yeah, they're going to abandon the towers. I'm not sure what they kind of did. I don't get this. I guess it blocks the arrow tower from shooting their men. It's an interesting move. I don't know if it really benefits you um, a lot. Maybe it does. I don't know. But 
You know, why not? Yeah, block the arrow towers. Why not? You know, that works. But yeah, the Romans and the Carthaginians, working hand in hand, are uh, storming the streets right now. And again, no engagement of infantry. Now we, oh, hold on. We had a little engagement here. It looks like, is this Carthaginians? Yes, it looks like Carthaginians are moving forward. Look at this. They've got some warriors. I guess they moved up and, and captured this arrow tower. They lost some troops in the process, but that's okay. They're going to move up more uh, Gaelic uh, warriors. Or Gallic warriors. Gaelic, Gallic, I don't know. Gallic? I don't know. We'll go with Gallic. Anyways, uh, they've pushed forward. They're sending in the infantry. And guys, it just feels like I'm I'm having deja vu here. Oh, we might get a clash of infantry here. The Hastati are moving in. They are taking the brunt of the projectiles coming in from the defenders. Guerrilla tactics really using their Galatian legionaries to their fullest potential, using that jabby capability to try to whittle down the Romans. But I feel like that's all part of the, sh the plan for the Romans here, for the rice enjoyers. Yeah, absorb ammo. That's what the Hastati are there for. They're young men, most likely won't become old men. And they're there to absorb that juicy, juicy ammo. So there you go. They're going to test two to formation to kind of improve their blocking. Which is really lame in Rome 2. And sorry, not to poop on Rome 2, but uh, it just improves their overall block stats. It doesn't like literally like physically block. You get what I'm saying? Like unlike Rome 1, there's like physics involved. Where like it's not really a stat thing. It's like the shields literally block the arrows. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not really explaining it well. But you get what I'm saying. Anyways, Romans pushing forward. It looks like we might have our first engagement over here. The Hastati have moved up. I think they're going to throw their Pila. Absolutely. I don't know how many kills. They, they don't get any kills from that volley. And I think we're... Yep, yeah, we got our first clash of infantry. Right by the Colosseum. By an arena. Look at that. Little arena. The Hastati are falling back. They're going to reform back over this way. No engagement yet. We've got the Carthaginians just kind of chilling over here. Uh, they are getting hit a little bit from some skirmishers. What do we got here? This is the Levy Freeman. Again, Levy Freeman have a good skirmishing capability. I think they used up all their ammo. But uh, they did chip away at this uh, Gallic warrior unit, the mercenary Gallic warriors. So back over this way. Still no uh, commitment to the main gate so we're gonna have to wait and see over here the galatians look like they've sent up reinforcements but so have the romans we've got another unit of St of hastati most likely they're gonna use their pila i assume they're swapping them around so they can take turns exhausting their pila on the enemy but yeah they're just taking their time but i will say i feel like the pace is a little bit faster for the rice enjoyers compared to the guerrilla tactics when they attacked the pace seemed a little bit faster but it is starting to slow down here a little bit in the hastati are losing heart because they just experienced a look at this a wrath of projectiles but that's their job guys it sucks but they did their job they did it for rome they did it for rome so are the Romans going to commit soon? Well, it looks like they're going to move up another Hastati. And they might just repeat the process. Absorb ammo. Oh! That was a nice volley right in the back of the Levy Freeman. It is just Levy Freeman, though. There goes another one. Nice. And here we go, folks. The Romans are a-knocking. They are knocking on the door. Woo! Fantastic. Now the Carthaginians are coming in to support. Really cool stuff right there. Is another Carthaginian unit ready to support. And the fight for the gates is underway. Look at that. Now back over this way. The Romans and the Carthaginians working together on both fronts. Carthaginians focusing most of their units on the right side. 
Roman's on the left. We'll see what happens here if they're going to commit. They are using some artillery, guys. I'm hearing artillery shots. Where is it? Oh, yeah. We've got the Greek ballista or Car Carthaginian giant ballista, whatever. Uh, but they looks like they're kind of opening fire over here. Just the, based on where it's aimed at. I'm not seeing any shots come down. Also, we're just now do we see the Athenians come from the fog of war. We've mostly just been seeing the Galatian soldiers. The Athenians have finally arrived. And it looks like it's paying off here as they are breaking some Hastati. Sure, it's only Hastati, but it's a start. And then here comes more Athenians. Thorax swords. Ready to go. Got their spears as well. That's going to be a great distance support. Let's go back over near to the gates where they're fighting it out. The Romans continue to push through, punch through these defenders. The Carthaginians, they're throwing in their reserves as well. The Libyan infantry, a great heavy melee infantry, and they're going toe to toe with the thorax swords. Two, a clash of great units. Here comes more reinforcements. The Libyan infantry coming in. And, uh, yeah, things are looking good for the attackers on this point. Uh, they probably will have to send in more reinforcements, but they are chipping through the defenders right here, and this could be a major problem for the defenders. I mean, just facing Rome alone is scary. Here we go. Rome pushing forward. The Galatian legionaries coming in. Libyan infantry ready to support this Roman advance. And they're also throwing their projectiles. So, a great big clash of infantry on multiple fronts. Which, usually when you have so much infantry fighting at one time, it leads to faster battles. Now, the balance of power, if we currently look at it, pretty even. I would say it's by hair. Okay, by a single piece of hair is it in favor of the attackers. But that's kind of to be expected as the attackers get more money compared to the defenders. So that might be pretty normal there. So it's still anyone's game at this stage of the battle. Now, Romans have sent up even more reinforcements. They've got armored legionaries. You're using their pila and they're and they're trying to kill the Athenians from a distance. You see this? And they're gonna counter charge. Or not counter, they're gonna charge. So they can silence the pila from hitting them. I don't know if that's gonna work out for them though. Engage! And now the Romans are gonna flank. Yeah, that was that seemed that seemed pretty uh wasteful of this unit i think really what oh here we go here comes reinforcements no no never mind they cancel the charge i thought they were going to move in to try to help these spears but they're just going to let the spears go well they're kind of using the spears to pin the romans down the romans see that they're going to change targets and go for these guys now god it looks so epic the Romans look so cool. All right, more and more Carthaginians coming into the city. The Romans are chipping away. Guys, there's really not much here for defense. I mean, do you see anything? I mean, at this point, I mean, it's not totally like complete panic mode, but if you're the defenders, you got to be hoping you easily win on this front. Like, you got to win somewhere. And they, that ain't going to happen here. The Romans are winning. They are winning. They got some Athenians up here. I like this. Trying to use their walls. Get some kills from above. That's a good use of them. They can even eventually run down and flank the Romans a little bit. But I think they're going to take the safe route. Go down here and bolster up these lines. Look at this front line though. Doesn't this just look awesome with the palm trees in the front line as well? Oh, 
Oh, look at this Roman. Look at him go. Oh. That was a valiant effort. Oh, yeah. They're pushing. Look at him push through the gap. They went through the gap. And now they're going to try to put some pressure on the flank of this defense. Look at all these Romans, dude. Look at that. What a fight. What a fight. So I think what the Roman army comp kind of went for is like a lot of decent troops. You know what I mean? He had the Hastati, but he brought a lot of the... What are these? Armored legionaries? They're pretty good. <laughs> it's, they're not just decent, but you know what I mean? I think he went more with like... He, I don't think he has any Praetorians. Yeah, so he went with more numbers of the decent troops. You know what I mean? So it's a, like a little bit of quality and quantity. Now back over this way, it looks like the Car Carthaginians are kind of spearheading this assault. As they've got Libyan infantry in the mix against Thorax swords. A nice matchup. But so far, it looks like the Athenians are winning slightly. Uh, the Romans are sitting back with reserves, but they're currently getting pelted. Veteran legionaries getting hit by javelin men. Very nice. Good use of the javies. I mean, you take out veteran legionaries, that's a good win right there. And they are chipping away at them. Look at this. Chipping away at these veteran legionaries. Libyan infantry having a big old clash and still they fight on over on the other side it's all quiet all quiet on the uh western front i don't know the eastern front i guess uh yeah they're not going in no we'll see we'll see when they commit i mean there's only one unit here oh cancel that here comes another unit so they might be uh building up a force to get ready to assault over there which might be the case there's still a lot of uh, carthaginian reserves you can see that the Romans have broken through. They have officially broken through, guys. We're down to the last 15 minutes of the battle. This battle is shorter than the previous battle. So, but keep in mind, it's shorter because both sides pretty much committed everything. Look at this. I mean, the Romans have no more reserves. So it might feel like the attackers are handling this, but that's not necessarily the case. Remember, the Romans, they're down to archers and depleted infantry. Now, the Carthaginians, on the other hand, have more reserves, but so do the Athenians. So I feel like right now they're pretty mirrored in, in, in terms of casualties. So we'll see how this plays out. Now, the balance of power, again, still kind of staying true. I would say it's pretty even, maybe a hair in favor of the attackers. A hair. So there's no decisive victor so far, guys. This is extremely, extremely... You hear that voice crack? That extremely close battle. God, it's so embarrassing. Voice crack. They really shouldn't be embarrassing. Oh, my God. These guys are, like, teleporting. Don't you hate that? My wife makes fun of me every time. If I talk to her and I have a voice crack, she just makes fun of me. And I'm like, stop. That's mean. Anyways, back over here. The Romans are breaking. No surprise here. This unit's very depleted. He's got armored legionaries, 140 out of 160. Fairly fresh unit. And they're already knocking on the door of the victory point. Now, the Galatians have some units in reserve watching this little pathway. It's a little secret path. That you can get behind the victory point so they're kind of just staying in position there are they firing their arrows they're kind of wasting their arrows on this libyan infantry i don't think they're gonna kill enough to make it worthwhile um but maybe that's all they got you know they're just trying to look scary or something against the carthaginians now over here the uh the egyptians it's it's tough it's tough they're gonna have a tough fight because they are also running out of infantry they've got one unit watching this zone 
And finally, the Carthaginians are going to take advantage of that. He's going to put some pressure on this one unit that is watching the path. Let's see if he goes for it. He might just be setting him up. Still has not gone for it. Back over this way. Things are looking good for Athens. The Athenians are doing well. They're doing pretty well. Um, are they winning this engagement? Combat's even. So it could be anyone's game. But so far, the Thorax Swords are outnumbered. But that's okay. They can still win. They're a good unit. But the Athenians are going to throw in reinforcements as a security precaution. Make sure they achieve victory in this small battle. All right. So looking good. It's looking close. Really, the biggest thing here. Here's the biggest thing, guys. The Romans, I like this. They form Testudo. They're trying to absorb some ammo. It just looks really cool. Um, here's the thing. The Romans are pretty exhausted at this point. Uh, sure, they've got a couple units that they can throw in. And they're Romans, guys. I mean, they're, they're still deadly. But I feel like the defenders could easily win this side over here. I'm actually really impressed. It, it did seem like the Romans... We're like just utterly destroying everything that the defenders had. But it was pretty even in terms of trading casualties. Um, not necessarily. I definitely think the Romans won that engagement. But, you know, not by a huge margin. But, yeah. So, uh, oh, here we go. The Glacians having some infantry reserves sending forward. They're going to fight. They're going to fight right here. Look at this. Levy Freeman going in mixed in with some, what is this? Glacian legionaries. I don't know. It's going to be a tough battle for him. I think they're sending in archers as well now. Glacia is definitely exhausted. They're just sending whatever they got. Trying to win on this front. It's all going to come down to Athens. Here we go. So this is the moment of truth here. The Romans have committed. Are we going to see the Ro the Romans crumble quickly, or are we going to see them slowly burn down the Athenians? Interesting. Back over this way as well. We got the mercenary Samnite warriors closing in, and now the Carthaginians are really concentrating their forces on breaking through on this side of the arena. They're going to fall back a little bit. They got some archers back here supporting. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The Cretan archers. These guys will chew up enemies. What are they going for? Looks like they're shooting this. Oh, oh yeah. Come on, Athens. Athens is one of my favorite factions. I mean, I know they're pretty, like, basic. They're, like, the basic Greek faction. But I just like the history of Athens and stuff. But, yeah, we've got Thorax Swordsmen holding back the enemy. And now they're getting flanked right now by some uh, javelin men, some thorax swords. Look at that. They've got them surrounded, dude. That's good. But they're starting to falter over here. You know, it seems like they just shifted more units over here from this fight. And it's leaving this, this spot open. But do they have reserves? Uh-oh, guys. I'm not seeing any reserves. Back over here, the Carthaginians are closing in. With some Samnite warriors, a very deadly class, class of soldier. And the Romans are looking for a weak spot. They're looking for a gap, and they see one. They're going to have to send in these reserves. Here they go. Oh, yeah. And they're going to flank the Carthaginians here a little bit. That's pretty big right there. That was a good move. That was a good move. Back over this way, though. We've got the Galatian general going in with his noble horse. Going after the javelin men. If he can kill him quickly, he can turn and help out elsewhere. Honestly, I would just stop attacking the javis and go for this. This infantry needs to be freed up so they can go and support this fight over here. Let's see if they go for it. No, he's going to commit to these javis. He really wants them dead. Maybe he's worried if he... If he... Okay, we'll see. I think he's worried about he might get tossed. You know, they might toss... Javi's into his back. A nice little charge there. Oh no. This unit's breaking. Guys, this is not good for the defenders. Guerrilla tactics. They've got their backs to the wall. 
They've got to win this. If they don't, Rice Enjoyers will take the crown. The underdog. We'll see. Real Tactics holding the fort here, though. All right, the infantry fighting the good fight here. Mercenary Sam Knight Warriors. Breaking through these Thorax Swordsmen. They're about to be flanked over here. Archers. They gotta, they're gonna retreat. Okay. And, and a Roman unit. Oh, geez. Yeah, the attackers have cleared out this section. And I think what we're gonna see is we're gonna see the defenders try to gather up as much reserves. Either they're going to make their stand here or fall back. Oh, hold on, cap charge. Oh, the javy throw. They stand their ground. They throw their javies. Ooh. And now they're going to push and kill these javelin men. This general's pretty much going all in because his army's gone. Romans are breaking here, but it's just archers. More infantry committing to the fight. They're trying to hold this main line, guys. The general, even the Athenian general is in the struggle, just like the Galatian general. Advance! My goodness. My goodness. All right, so both sides starting to get tired here. The Cretan, Cretan archers... It looks like they're going to try to exhaust their ammo. There's like, men, it's been an honor. It's been an honor. Make every ar arrow count. Oh, wait, no, they're going to fall back. That's actually pretty smart. They're going to use the arrow tower to support them. Are they going to go all the way up on the walls or just make their stand here? I don't know. I just like last stands, you know? They look, just look so cool. Yeah, he does not want to engage this sword infantry he's hoping it breaks so he doesn't have to waste time dealing with it in close range and he can keep firing over here i think the general is going to go in and finish the job there we go yep they're just trying to gain any victory they can get over here guys it's down to two athenian units this is not good not good the romans are clashing over here through these streets the general's putting up a great fight he only has 29 kills, but he's holding. He's holding. All right, the archers are going to let loose. Look at them using kiting tactics. Kiting down the enemy. I don't think they're going to fall back anymore, though. I think this is it. We'll see. They might retreat. Good kills. Great kills on these guys. I mean, the attackers have no cav. There goes another unit breaking, guys. Unbelievable. The Romans are now going to... It looks like they were going to capture, but now they're going for the archers. And the archers are going to counter charge. No, they're going to fall back. This is really cool. I think they're doing a great job over here. Like, they could have... That that they that great one cab, one archer combo with the support of the arrow towers. Really impressive stuff. Really impressive stuff. All right, now they're using archers to hold back some Romans because the general's getting surrounded. And now they're going to counter these, these archers that have flanked the general. Let's see if they can finish up these Romans here. Nice little charge there. The archers are going in. They're trying to gain any kind of edge they can get. And there we go. They're breaking the Romans, dude. Wow. This is great job by the guerrilla tactics here. Really impressed with this great use of the arrow towers and constantly kiting and falling back and charging when it, you know, is makes sense. Nice. How many kills? This general has 212 kills. These archers over here have 187 kills. And look at they're breaking another unit and they're just going to keep pushing, push this cap into the archers. Ah, uh, here comes the Carthaginian general. That might be the end for these noble horse. Come on, guerrilla tactics. You got this. Back over this way, guys. It's looking tough. It's looking desperate. They're putting up a great stand. I don't know, guys. I mean, I don't know. They might be able to pull this off. 
Oh, geez, they're going to flank the general. They really want that general dead. It makes sense. What they're going to do over here, they're going to swap. They're going to change targets. This unit, send them in this way. Quick, quick, before the Carthaginians come. There they go. Oh, my God, what a battle. What, a, what an absolute battle this has been. There we go. They're breaking them. Ah, oh, but the Romans are winning over here against Greek scorpions. Back over this way. They're going for the serpent's head. Athenian Cretan archers with the noble horse fighting the bodyguard. They've killed three so far, but that's not enough. Oh my gosh. The Athenians fighting to the bitter end, but they find themselves surrounded. The bounce of power is greatly in favor of the rice enjoyers. And guys, I think it's safe to say that the rice enjoyers are going to be crowned champions of the Total War League Rome 2 Siege Tournament. Wow. Uh, you got to give props to Guerrilla Tactics, though. Got to give them props. They kept fighting their hearts out, especially over here with that archer calf combo. That was a beautiful sight. And they even did a good job over here managing their units pretty well against a, a force that is heavily, you know, heavily outnumbered them. The Roman general is getting a piece of that action. So, wow, what a fight. Uh, it was close, guys. I mean, look at what's left of the attackers. It was very close. I think if the Athenians had one more unit, just one more unit, they could have won. I truly believe I, it would have been tough still, but I think they it, it would have been possible. Oof, what a fight. What an absolute struggle. Great use. I mean, I just love that the guerrilla tactics never give up attitude. I mean, obviously, well, hold on. They're, they're breaking these Romans. I don't think it's going to be enough, but... That's, that's another the Romans are pretty much out now except for the general unfortunately the Athenian general is losing heart so uh but yeah like I said if they just had one more unit I think they could have could have won but that's how close this battle was it's the difference of one unit a great fight a great finale for the end of this tournament and as we watch the attackers kind of clean up what's left his epic last stand here of the Athenians. Don't forget, guys, down in the comments, or uh, not in the comments, the description, there's a link to their Discord. There's also links to other uh, other YouTubers that cover the tournament. So if you want to see, if you want to watch the entire journey of the Rice Enjoyers, the underdogs, let's, uh, you know, let's... Let's give some praise to them. They they came in as the underdogs. They were new to the scene and they won it all, guys. It's always that's always so cool to see that. Uh, so they are crowned champion. So that's pretty fun. Um, yeah, that's that's got to be very exciting for them. They got to, I mean, first time going into in the tournament and winning it all. That's pretty cool. And they did a great job. And they definitely, you know. You might be thinking, well, they had Rome and Carthage. That's just like that's just crazy strong. Well. That's part of the strategy of the tournament. You can only use a faction once. So they held on to Rome and Carthage for the final, very last battle. And it paid off, guys. It paid off. Uh, so, yeah, that was great. Let's go ahead and end the replay. Um, so, yeah, nice rice. Look at that. Look at look at Carthage. Getting 2,000 kills. Very nice job. And, yeah, he, um, Athens did a great job. Look how small his army. Well, it's actually bigger than his allies, but... Yeah, it's, I mean, they did a great job considering um, they're taking on some strong factions. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up here, guys. So the Rice Enjoyers crowned champion with negative four points versus the um, the Gorilla Tactics who have negative five points. So that's going to close it up here, guys. Uh, another big, uh, big thank you to the uh, Marketable Skills for giving me these replays and um, letting me cover the tournament and everything. I don't know. I, you know, I've kind of gotten the... The Rome 2 competitive, uh, you know, sickness. I might, I might have to go and uh, make a team or something. I probably won't win, but it's just fun, that competitive feeling. You know what I mean? But anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me. That, uh, that was a cool finale. If you want to see more tournament gameplay, let me know down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to like, share, and everything. That does help a ton. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time in the next battle.